안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 감사합니다. 바이. 땡큐. 프레디 브리온 참 값진 시즌 2승입니다. 프레디 브리온 was able to pick up the second win of the split. I can tell you guys had a huge desire for this win, right? How are you feeling, guys? Lava first. There were a lot of games that we were able to win, but we lost so many of those, so we were really depressed, but I'm really happy that we were able to pull it off today. Same. There were a lot of games that we could win, but it was a huge bummer that we lost those, those but I'm glad that we were able to defeat KT Roaster today. In Lava, we were able to see this surf and mid pick, which was taking off on the solo queue and also in the challengers' Korea. Was that something that you guys expected to happen today? Well, yeah, we actually didn't know that KT was going to play it, but I did play surf and mid a lot, so it was not really tough for me to deal with. Lava in game one, we had a lot of long team fights, and because of the power of Seraphin for a long team fight, you guys are actually falling behind. But at some points, you guys came back online. When the opponent Seraphin used W skill, we wanted to wait until he actually used that, and when it's on cooldown. Because Lava has been playing this champion for so many games, he knows how to deal with it. Moving on, game number three. The so KT Roaster tried Korma Cup. How did the players react to this new champion pick? We were confident that we can win 5v5 team fights. Lava, Yuka played Surf in mid in game one, and he actually took Airy, but in game number three, you had unsealed Spellbook as your rune choice in game three. Yeah, before game number three, I also considered trying the Airy, which looked really good when Yuka tried, but what I practiced was the unsealed spellbook Seraphin, so I wanted to stick to my original plan. I think Oriana should have playing control up against Seraphin, so what's your thought on that mid lane matchup? As long as Oriana doesn't feel any pressure for the uh, potential ganks, I think, yeah, Oriana can also exert the pressure, but it all depends on the um, junglers, to, to be honest. And Delight, you kept having some the wombo combos in team fights, especially with your ultimate. Any tips for using that champion, Rel? Well, I think you can just like go aggressively as long as you have your teammates that can follow. But some people say Rel is no fun, it's too slow, you know? What do you think about this champion? Do you think that's the wrong kind of perception about this champion? Or do you also think that this champion is a bit boring? It's actually really fun to play, but yeah, if you lose your holes, it does get a lot slower. <laughs> However, today, Vista earlier today in his POG interview said Rel is the god tier champion currently in the support role. Do you agree? Yes, I also think that Rel is really good. She has no counter. The question over to Lava. Freddy Brion is a team that's really good at team fights. They are really good at opening fights that they cannot lose. How are you guys able to make it happen every time? We are not mechanically like great, having great mechanics, but we are really confident in team fights. So we try not to choke during team fights. We have this confidence that we can outplay the opponents when it comes to the team fight stage. And whenever, whenever we get to hear your mic check, you guys are really confident and trusting each other, like we can do it. Is that also another motivation for you guys? Our head coach always tell, uh, tells us you guys can win, don't choke. 
stay confident and that really helps us out a lot. Yeah. Who's the main shot caller on your team? Like, keeping the morale high. I think umpty. <laughs> And then me. Yeah. And support in real life as well. And Lava. After the Tamon Kia series victory, a lot of fans are calling you the LOL King, League of Legends King, because you took down Mid King Showmaker. I was really glad that I got a new nickname, but after the Tamon Kia series, we were actually stuck in a losing streak. So I was really depressed. But still, Lava is... Lava kind of reclaimed his low king title today with this fantastic performance today. And you'll be facing up against T1. And if you guys manage to pick up another victory, you guys will start to extend your winning streak. That's the um, last match coming up before the holidays. Uh, we will do our best in order to <laughs> pick up a win in that match. In the light. Just like we practiced, we will do our best and we will try our best to come back stronger in the upcoming match. This will be the end of the interview from Lava, the light on the side of Freddy Brion, and I'm going to pass it back to our casters. Thank you.